This is Doug Bollinger and you're logged on to Cricket Australia TV. So Hamish, uh, Getty Images Guru Photographer for the last 10 years following the Australian cricket team. Well, um, yeah, except for the last two, but yeah, for a while there I was, yeah, this was the first one back for a while. You've obviously seen a lot of things in your time, but uh, what, what makes a great shot? Um, I think it's a, it's a combination of things. A, a great shot, there's an element of luck to it, obviously, because something on the cricket field, the action can happen and you don't know until it happens which way it's going to happen, so there's an element of luck that it happens towards you, but I think the thing that makes um, a good picture great is... Uh, when it's a significant moment because that's when you get the, the really high emotion whether that's agony of defeat or the ecstasy of, of victory I think that's what makes a great shot. You've also captured a lot of good fun off the field shots I think uh, Shane Warne walking down the middle of a street in Colombo was one of your favourites what uh, what would you say is your, your favourite off field shot you've had? Ooh, um, that's a tough one I, that, yeah, they, I, I really do like those, those sorts of pictures that capture uh, the culture of the place that you're in and sort of show that the, the cricketers are somewhere a bit different from home um, <laughs> funny when you're mentioning it now one of the one of the funnier pictures that's come to mind I, in New Zealand I once got a picture of uh, Jason Gillespie and Glenn McGrath punting each other down the river in one of the uh, sort of like the gondolas in, in Christchurch that was pretty funny um, probably not the best picture I've ever taken but it was a pretty funny day <laughs> you obviously get to know the players quite well over the time uh, yeah, um, as I say, having haven't not been around for a couple of years and, and all the changes in the team, there's quite a few new faces now, but yeah, over the years I've got to know a lot of the guys pretty well. You ever worry that sometimes you get a bit too close, especially in those intense moments like, you know, maybe the 05 Ashes or are there, are there times where it's tough to be around? Um, I think, yeah, you, you do have to remember that you've got a job to do and if, yeah, and particularly if things aren't going well, that that might make things a little bit difficult if you do have too close a relationship with the with the guys. But in general, they're pretty understanding that we've got a job to do, and and generally, I mean, the thing is, we don't have to put an opinion forward. We just take a picture. Which, if that's the team losing wickets or getting hit for runs or whatever, that's that picture speaks for itself, and it's not us saying that they're no good or something like that. So it's uh, I don't think yeah I think we're sort of quite lucky in, in that sense that we can just take the pictures, let them speak for themselves, whatever that is, and then and leave it at that. And I think the guys understand that. You obviously had some hairy moments in your time as a Getty Images photographer, but to talk us through Bangladesh and being chased down by a mob. Well, I wasn't I wasn't quite chased down by a mob. There was a there was an incident um, in uh, Chittagong that uh, there was a local photographer who'd been roughed up by the police and the, the local media were staging a bit of a protest which was before play originally and then after there was no action taken it, it started again at lunchtime and the, the local police got fairly heavy handed and a, and a bit of a riot broke out on the ground um, and I was out there because I was out there to take some photos of the, what was, I thought was a peaceful protest and it got, it got a bit hairy but uh, it was quite strange because the local police were very careful not to not to do anything to me which I found quite strange considering that sort of only metres away they were actually beating up the local photographers. That's probably the, the most frightened you've been what, what would you say is your highlight? Our highlight was is definitely 2004 in Nagpur when uh, they won for the first a series there for the first time in 35 years because I was also there in 2001 where they came incredibly, incredibly close after winning the first test and then um, having into this in the situation where they followed on but um but, but then lost the series 2-1. Uh, it was really exciting to be there when they finally won and um, Gilly, who was filling in as captain for, for Ricky Ponting because I think he'd broken a, a finger or something, was um, yeah, very, very, very emotional and it was pretty, pretty exciting to be there for that. And how much longer can you uh, keep up this life on the road? Well, as I, I'm not doing it so much as I, as I was. I think, it's, um, I think I'm probably getting to the stage now where it'll, it'll, it'll be a sort of an occasional thing as opposed to a... Uh, a regular thing, um, but yeah, it's it's a lot. It is it, it is tough. I think exactly the same as the players find it being tough away from family and friends and loved ones. It is it's it is tough spending a long time away. <laughs> 